Welcome to the Azure Key Vault video in AC300 series. We did mention about Azure Key Vault in the previous video when we were talking about the managed identities. Hello everyone, my name is Arun and let's get started. So uh, what is Azure Key Vault? Well, we can uh, understand it as a uh, it's a tool for securely storing and accessing secrets API keys passwords storage account keys certificates anything that we want to keep securely okay so let me write this down uh, this will this will help us to summarize at the end Securely storing and accessing keys, passwords, secrets, certificates, EDC. Okay. So this is this is where it actually the uh, Azure Key Vault is, and we can understand. With the simple definition okay cool so let me make it little presentable so that we can go through at the end all right now if i talk about the process if you remember in the managed identity identities we uh we did mention this we do not want to keep the uh, credentials in the application code so you can use the managed identities and you can assign that identity to the Azure resources those kind of things right yes so similarly let's try to understand how things happen in the Azure Key Vault first and then we'll talk about Azure Key Vault in detail okay let's suppose we have a uh, you uh, 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 administrator here this is and Azure admin okay what it does Azure admin will simply keep things in the Azure key vault what things we mentioned here right here okay so let we can say simply uh, okay this much import after creating a key vault of course he the admin should have the RBAC access to create a key vault all right once he creates the key vault he can create import okay, delete revoke anything he can do with the keys keys and secrets All right, uh, let me do this again. This will be helpful. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 yes. Okay, come here, yeah. Go there, yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So what the Azure admin is doing, it's maybe importing, creating, deleting, revoking, doing anything with the keys which are stored in the Azure Key Vault by the admin okay now what happens your developers your developers are sitting somewhere who doesn't want to keep the secrets or the passwords in the application we talked about it right so what it will use instead of that because eventually to get the information from the Azure key vault it's still needs to authenticate right still needs to authenticate to access those things so in that scenario what the Azure admin does Azure admin gives developers in URIs okay it gives URIs for this you need not to customize any code or anything and with the help of these URIs our developer can easily access the keys whatever are stored in here and can utilize in the application 
okay for example the connection string we all know to connect to the database uh, we put the connection string the name the password the IP address all those things you do not want to put those things in the code you can simply put the URIs which has the you know authority to go to the key vault and get the information those kind of things hope this makes it little clear now let's go to the Azure key vault try to understand it in, in a little deeper okay so uh, we know what Azure key vault is and how the lifecycle works for the key vault all right and let's try to understand where exactly Azure key vault can help us okay so let me do this the very first thing where Azure Key Vault help us is secrets management okay let me write this down here secret management okay it's nothing big we can we all can understand Azure Key Vault actually used to securely store and tightly control access to tokens passwords certificates API keys and other secrets what else well it can be used come on used for key management key management key vault makes it easy to create and control the encryption keys used to encrypt your data okay so we need this arrow right here as well what else well there is one more thing that is certificate management okay that is certificate management let me write this down here certificate management what that means that means it is also <clears throat> help you provision manage and deploy public and private transport layer security TLS SSL certificates for use with Azure and your internal con connected resources it can also give you that okay so if you want we can uh, add one more thing here which is this Azure key vault actually backed by HSM module which is hardware security modules okay uh, it uses a industrial uh, logarithm to secure your uh, stuff that you're keeping in there okay so we can we can add one more thing here let me do that it's backed by HSM okay let me write this down here by HSM we'll talk a little more about HSM later well that's not the topic actually to be honest topic is the one that we are covering but this can be a little interesting to know about so these are the things where actually Azure is really Azure Key Vault is really helpful okay these things okay I think this is this is very good and let me write this down here this is helps in these management areas okay now the thing is why actually we use key vault a lot of it I have already talked about by giving this example managed identities and all but still we need to dig it a little more so let's go ahead and 
use this arrow to understand why we use it okay so we have the very first reason of using key vault is it gives you centralized management or centralized repository to keep your application secrets okay well key vault when you keep everything centralized so the chances of losing the secrets accidentally or leaking would be tremendously less okay when using key vault application developers no longer need to store security information in their applications not having to store security information in application eliminates the need to make this information part of the code you can put the same example that we talked about connection string here okay instead of using the connection string which has all the information of your db ip password you can use the uh, key vault uris okay and your application can securely access the information uh, the need by using those uris these uris allow the application to retrieve a specific version of a secret there is no need to write custom code to protect any of the secret information stored in the key vault okay cool now what is the next if we talk about azure key vault okay so the next is it securely stores the secrets and keys okay we all need that that's why we are uh, using this security okay now access to a key vault requires two things authentication and authorization of a user application who is trying to get the access now authentication establishes the identity of the user or application while authorization determines the permissions what they are allowed to perform okay so authentication can be done by azure ad right and authorization can be performed by rbec role or you can use key vault uh, access policy we do have access policy in uh, key vault okay uh, policy come on all right now rbex is used when dealing with the management of the vaults and key vault access policy is used when attempting to access the data stored in the vault so this is an azure product and you have all the relevant stuff stuff in azure or relevant resources in azure to make it secure and securely managed okay now what else well uh, one more thing about the security that I was wanted to I informed here in the backed by HSM Sec secrets and keys are safeguarded by Azure using industry standard logarithms key lens and hardware security modules so it is uh, secure as per the standard defined okay now need to add one more yes that is it's not just like uh, you are using it but you also should have something which can actually monitor what is happening who is accessing all those kind of things okay then it becomes the complete uh, project or the complete uh, resource okay so uh, we can let me write this down monitor with the help of logs means we can enable the logging on 
Azure Key Vault or Azure Monitor with the help of Azure Monitor. So uh, with the help of this, we can monitor how and when the keys and secrets are being accessed. And we can configure the Azure Key Vault to send the data or the log to the let me write this down here to the storage account okay to the event hub or azure monitor logs so we can utilize the other services of azure to monitor azure key vault who is accessing what is being accessed if any key is being deleted or revoked or replaced or changed those kind of things okay okay so the next one is this is something which makes it very good for the uh, azure perspective what is this that is it can be easily integrated with the other azure services My bad. okay integrated easily with other Azure services just like uh, uh, I just forgot the name yes uh, we can use this in Azure VM disk encryption okay and SQL encryption or app services okay we can also we talked about event hub uh, log analytics so it can be easily integrated by other services that's storage accounts so that is also a, a positive thing that you can use something in Azure which can easily be integrated with the other Azure resources or services that you need eventually. Okay. Now, the thing is we talked about everything, uh, how the developers will use, how the things would take care, the, the kind of help we get in the management of security key certificate and the benefit of using it you can say or why we use it we can say but the thing is to fetch the information from the key vault right to fetch the information from key vault we need we still need authentication right developers are using uris but what else you can use that's the question okay if you remember we talked about the managed identity managed identity can be easily used for authentication right in the previous video we talked about it so if I say authentication methods that we we can use for Azure key vault is the very first thing is managed identities okay we can this is this is the recommended way and we have an entire video on this this is uh, something which is managed by Azure okay and you can attach this identity as user assigned or system assigned and then your resource can access whatever permissions this managed identities has it can also use service principle <coughs> and certificate which is not recommended service principle and secrets which is also not recommended but you can use it so i guess that's all about azure key vault and thank you for watching let's meet in another video you have a good day bye bye